task number 17, identification and authentication failures practical part. This is part of the WASP top 10 from 2021 room, which is part of the complete beginner path on TryHackMe. For this example, we'll look at a logic flaw within the authentication mechanism. Many times what happens is that developers forget to sanitize the input username or password. Sanitize basically just check, rejects check for instance given by the user in the code by their application, which can make them vulnerable to attacks like SQL injection. However, we will focus on a vulnerability that happens because of a developer's mistake, but it's very easy to exploit. That is re-registration of an existing user. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Say there is an existing user with the same admin and we want to access their account. So what we can do is try to re-register that username, but with slight modification. We will enter admin without the quotes. Notice the space at the start. Now, when you enter that in the username field and enter other requirements, information like email ID or password and submit the data, it will register a new user, but that user will have the same rights as the admin account. That new user will also be able to see all the content present under the admin user. To see this in action, go here and try to register with Darren as your username. All right, let's register. You'll see that the user already exists, so okay. So username will be Darren. Email, let's say Darren at sub.com password one two three four okay let's see this user is already registered all right if we go again for the user we place a space and we say darren again with the same email address darren at sub.com password one two three four register we see that the user is registered successfully. If we say here a space and a Darren with the password one, two, three, four and sign in, we should be prompted as logged in as Darren. Hello, we have here a hash, but let's see what's up. Instead of, okay, see what you will now uh, see. And you'll see that you are now logged in you'll see that the user already exists. So try to register Darren, exactly like in example where of uh, admin, right? With a space before the first letter. And you'll see that you are now logged in and can see the content present only in Darren's account, which is in our case is the flag. What is the flag that you would, uh, okay. Okay, so I guess we we just paste the flag found. Now try the same trick with Arthur. Now let's log out and try with Arthur. Space Arthur. Arthur add easymead.com. One, two, three, four. The same user is registered. We go for space Arthur and password one, two, three, four, sign in. And we see the flag on the homepage of the user. Boom.